Hey everyone, Justin Smith there, the scouting and recruiting analyst for Touchdown Alabama. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on our YouTube page. Be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the notification bell, be notified when we drop content on our YouTube page. Today I'm going to take a look at and react and break down five-star quarterback Arch Manning's film. Manning is a five-star quarterback in the 2023 recruiting class. All of the major recruiting outlets have him listed as the number one player in the 2023 recruiting class. So we're going to take a look at what he brings to the table and why he has garnered that type of attention and why he has garnered that type of star rating and ranking as a consensus number one player in the nation. Of course, we know his pedigree with him being the nephew of Peyton and Eli Manning and with his grandfather being Archie Manning as well. So we're going to take a look at what the 6'4", 215-pounder can do on the gridiron we have our producer John Ivory who was the producer at Touchdown Alabama of course we have him on the video you can run everything now John get everything started now on the first play we're going to see Arch Manning show off that great pocket presence move up in the pocket and deliver a great throw now on the left side of the field we're going to play that first play back over again a few times because I think that is an area where Arch really grow during his, during the transition from his sophomore in his junior season. His pocket presence really developed and progress, and I think that play really develops it, showing him stepping up in the pocket and delivering a great throw down the field, showing that he can push the football down the field. We're going to see another deep pass, another great throw by Arch Manning, in my opinion, as we consistently see that he's able to push the ball down the field. A quick out route on that play. I think the receiver is going to do most of the work on that particular play. But those, most of these first plays are from his junior season. This one is as well as you see him split a couple of defenders. But this next play is from his sophomore season as well. This From this play on, we're going to see plays from his sophomore film. That throw was a bit underthrown. We're going to see it from a different angle. It was a bit of an underthrow, but it was a great play by the receiver to work back to the football and make a great play down the field. Ball on the ground. Great way to evade pressure what a throw from a very impressive angle we're going to see that play again um john you can go back to that play that the first time we saw it from that first angle but that was a very impressive play in my opinion ball on the ground had to adjust to it felt the pressure evaded the pressure circled around it did a c and circled around with the pressure and throw a very great pass from a very interesting angle so we continue to see that pocket presence. We see it developing during his sophomore season, but I really felt that he mastered it a little bit more during his junior season at Newman High School. Once again, feeling the pressure coming, rolling out of the pocket, throwing the ball across his body to throw an amazing pass. He got hit on that play too. Great pass, great play all around. See him drop back. Feel the pressure coming, roll out, flicks the ball, great throw, puts the ball where only his wide receiver can make a play on the football. The defenders could not, could not make a play on that ball. Gave his wide receiver space to make a play as well, getting one foot in bounds. I'm throw the hitch rod on that play. Got the football out before his wide receiver turn around. You can go back to that one too. What I really like about the, him hitting that hitch route, of course you have to hit that hitch route. You got to throw the football before your wide receiver turns around. I think Arch really did that really well. He's going to, it's the play is going to happen right now. Gets the football out of his hand before his wide receiver turns around. His wide receiver did a great job turning to the outside, turning up the field. We see him, a ball out of, right out of his hand before the wide receiver turns around. Great throw by Arch. Rolling out. Like that was a design rollout. Great play to split the defender. The defender read that play, but he couldn't get to it in time. Arch throw it into a very tight hole. Gonna drop back. Gonna throw the ball across the field. Like he he looked like he threw it hit in between like two or three defenders on that play. Drop back, pump fake, go back to the left. So last play, great down the field throw by Arch right there. So we see a lot, of, a lot of different aspects of his game in this video. But I think the thing that really stood out to me is his pocket presence. Of course, we saw a lot of his sophomore film, but if you 
got an opportunity to see what he was able to do as a junior at Newman High School. Some of those videos are available on Huddle. You can find them on YouTube as well. You see his pocket presence is something that has really improved from his sophomore season to his junior season. He's able to be present and alert in the pocket as you guys saw feels when pressure is coming it's able to evade pressure keeps his eyes down the field as well i thought that was really impressive make some throws where his only where only his wide receiver can catch the football that really caught my eye and also just his great size six foot four 215 pounds great size work frame for a quarterback so i definitely can see why he's rated as a five-star recruit whoever gets arch manning is going to get a talented quarterback but just looking at this quarterback group as a whole in the 2023 recruiting class i feel there are some very talented signal callers so the crimson tie will be lucky to pick up any of these guys i wouldn't say the gap between arch and these other guys are really big i feel that this, this is just a solid group of quarterbacks in this 2023 recruiting cycle who any team would love to pick up just taking a look at some of alabama's top 2023 quarterback targets outside of arch manning you have a lot of guys like nico out of california nico iamalavea out of california you also have some other guys in the 2023 recruiting class with the crimson tide are going after at the quarterback position i did break that down in another video on an episode of the process you can't you guys can't find it on our youtube page but it was great getting the opportunity to break down what arch manning brings to the table there's a lot to like about his game thank you guys so much for joining me today on our youtube page hit the like button hit the subscribe button subscribers hit the notification bell be notified when we drop content on our youtube page i am justin smith the scouting and recruiting analyst for touchdown alabama